Hmm. In today's episode, we're sculpting this, which means we're carving this into this. We'll show you how we do it, work some crippling detailing magic, recap our sculpture, and wrap it all up with dazzling cinematics. Looking for top five entertainment in under 40 minutes? Then park it right here and stick around. Hey, hey, good morning, good day, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, City Sculptor, and you have made your way back to Pangasus Bay. Hey, it's great to have you here today, and it's another lovely day in the bay, as you can see. Now, we've got downtown off there in the distance, and then we've got our level one trauma center off there in the distance, and then, of course, we've got Amelia Earhart International Airport over here on the left side. We are now looking over the subject of today's build, and that is Java Hill. Now, as you may recall, the last couple of episodes have happened down here in the Arabica Basin. You may have picked up on a coffee theme going on there, and I think that's going to be appropriate for today's build. There's the uh, high school that's home to the Arabica Fighting Beans, and those, those beans get their nickname from this hill up here. This is Java Hill, and we are going to be building out a glorious coffee plantation. Now, I thought this would be some great location for homes overlooking the, the downtown area in the bay, but unfortunately, we're right in that flight path. So... We're going to repurpose this into a light industrial build, taking advantage of uh, this hill to put in a coffee plantation. And I'm going to take some inspiration from Brazil, from Hawaii, and from Colombia. So we're going to mix in some fun decorative styles back up on this hill. I don't know. I think it's going to be, turn out to be kind of a fun, beautiful, elegant build up on this hill, and it's going to serve a purpose. Keep the Pangasus Bay residents awake. <laughs> all right. Well, I just threw a lot at you guys. So with all that as a backdrop, let's do this. Now, as we look over the top here of Arabica Valley High School and then past our Bells Basin Elementary Complex, you come across this diverging diamond interchange. As you recall, we built this a couple of episodes ago, and I decided to extend that road while respecting the hill that's behind it. So let's turn on some topography lines here. You can kind of see what's going on here. You can see that this road, this road becomes a highway, if you will, and leads its way around the edge of the mountain. You can see the elevation change here as I worked my way around this mountain ever so slightly and then followed the natural contour lines up this ridge and then out of town over there. And then in doing so, that allowed me to put in a couple of intersections or interchanges, I guess, one here and then one back down over here. Now, this is going to be our access interchange, and we're also going to have access, of course, to the other one on the distance here. But this one frames up and gives us immediate access to our coffee plantation. Now, a couple of little quick things, too, before we dive in too deeply, is that you can see this road starts to switch back and snake its way up the hill. My intent is to bring that up and along this hill and follow some of the natural contour lines and really make use of this bowl as kind of a decorative ele element up there. I'd like to keep the natural trees up on the very top of it and then kind of work our way into this space here with some, uh, you know, some, some really cool artistic looking layouts. Now, the other thing I need to do is I need to make sure that I stay away from this freeway. I don't want to have this place plantation run all the way down onto the freeway here. Uh, I think we can, we've got an opportunity to really work with the contour and make something beautiful. Now, the first thing I want to tackle is I want to set up some boundaries, if you will, some basic guidelines. And I'm going to do so using my gravel road here. I've used this technique a lot throughout the city just to, to remind me to keep out of certain areas. And you can see this freeway. We've got some contour lines coming up this hill and you get a first big black one here, like a darker one here. You get a second one here. And then there's a third one if you look really closely right in this space here. So I'm going to use this gravel road. I just want to tick off a couple of those. And then I want to come in with my tree removal brush, and I just want to say, uh, let's decrease the brush size down. But I want to come right along here and just kind of peel back these trees in this line here. And the reason I want to do that is because what it's going to happen is it's going to become really apparent to all of us now where that terrain contour line is. You can see the darker black line there, and that's really helpful. So if I come right along here and just set up some boundaries and might work my way around this hill, I think we'll have a, a better definition of the plantation. Now I'm going to do that in kind of fast forward mode, so sit tight. And now with that in place, you can see there's a very clear delineation of where that plantation begins and ends. We can come back in now behind it. And you can see we've got some hickory trees, some birch trees. Uh, I think it's a good mix of those two. So I can come back and, and kind of redensify this forest down below the, uh, the the work line here. So let's grab some birch trees. And I just want to set my brush size to 70, my strength to 80%. Just come through and zip through there like this and do some quick little plantings in this space. And then do the same thing with hickory. 
Now on to the next step. Now, if the slaughter of innocent trees makes you squeamish at all, you're going to want to avert your eyes here because we've got to clear out a lot of trees in this space to make room for our plantation. Now, not to worry, we're going to replant a whole bunch of uh, coffee trees and coffee vines and so forth in this space. But, oh, this is, uh, this is a tough one. We're going to come down into this little basin in here. i got to get real close in there. Yeah, okay, going to come into this basin and wipe these trees out in here. I want to just kind of creep up along this ridge line up there, but I don't want to... I don't want to go too far into it. Just wanted to pull these out of here. All right, and maybe come up just a little bit farther. Yeah, just so we just so we're up there along that ridge line. I want to keep the trees up on the top of this ridge line just to kind of keep a decorative element up there as well. And then let's just kind of come in here and remove a bunch of stuff heading down in this direction of our little uh, keep outline down below. All right, let's clean this up real quick. There you go. So now you can see where our plantation is going to be, the big footprint of our plantation. Nice. Now with all those trees removed from there, I can jump down in here and turn on my road building tool and check out my contour lines. And you can see, look at all of the elevation change that's in this space. Just a wide variety of elevations that come through here. And now I can start to frame up the area with my service road. Now I want to clear out all these little gravel roads here, so sit tight. And then I want to come in with a level terrain tool, make the brush size really small, maybe around 30 or so, Ah, maybe make it 40. And then just come in down along this contour line and try and level out to that as much as I can. So if I do this and select this as a flattened out area and then slope up to that from here. Yeah, and now I can kind of just flatten out this contour line all the way around the edge of this little forest. And then I can build in my service road. And now we can drop in that road. Let's just go ahead and do that. I'm gonna put on a continuous curve. I'm gonna come right out of this point here. I'll go straight to start, and then I'll start bending that right along this road here. Let's turn on those contour lines so we get a better feel for it. Yeah, I got a nice little straightaway here. And then I'll come out and bend. There, now we've got that all framed up and I can come in now and just kind of tidy up, if you will, along the edges of that. Increase my brush size to about 60 and just smooth that out along the edge of that road. There you go. And now you can see it's framed up really nicely. Now, whether or not this road continues to be a two lane road all the way up along this ridge, that remains yet to be seen, but I think it provides some pretty good access for here, for us. And now we can start out the process of building out all of our little individual plantation gardens. Now, one of the things I thought was really kind of cool in one of the Hawaii plantations I checked out is that it appeared there was this double gravel road that kind of came out. So I'm going to kind of emulate that by just coming out with a pair of gravel roads like so. Let's keep our continuous curve mode on. And I'm going to start by just jumping out here. You know, maybe it's just that far. And then I want to snake this little gravel road kind of down through this little notch right into this space here. So we're going to come down into here, curve to this spot, and then make that down into this little basin down in here, just up to a certain point. Maybe not all the way into there, but up to about here. And then I'm going to turn off my uh, toggle parallel road, and I'm just going to put in one little road there. And then I want to put another one in maybe about halfway in or so, something like that. Now I can start building out each of the little unique gardens. So let's come in here with a continuous road. I'm going to turn off all of these uh, snap to grids and snap to guidelines and just kind of start free forming this in here. Uh, so I'm going to start by coming in with a nice little curved one down in here. And again, these don't have to be precise. In fact, I think the more kind of rugged they look, the better. Um, you know, just I think they need to have kind of a follow the contour kind of look and feel. And this would be a great example of let's just take this and bend this up into here and then work our way up to that contour line there. And now just come straight across. We can just come right back into that spot there. And it creates this kind of an odd shaped little space down in here. But what it allows us to do is then come in and you know check out some of the other contour lines and maybe spring off of this, maybe to there, and then just come straight across, if you will, back into this intersection here boom and now i've got the ability to come in with this and just kind of gently curve off of this elevation or terrain line if you will contour line and just bend that right back into there 
And now what I'll get is I'll get a series of these little strange, odd configured shapes down in here that, um, you know, generally speaking, adhere pretty, pretty tightly to the topography. Each one of them should be at a slightly different elevation, and each one of them will allow for a certain different type of, you know, style, if you will, of, of tree or planting to be in that space. And then the reason for this double uh, gravel road up here is because what I saw was that they came in and they planted all of these beautiful flowers. Whoops, let's get an individual. You know, just kind of, just beautiful flowers kind of, you know, flanking up this whole area here. Not necessarily done in a, in a pattern per se, but just uh, here, let's decrease our brush size down to about 20. And uh, I just want to come in here and just paint some of these in here down the middle. And it's this beautiful flowery drive that comes down through here. Um, yeah, the brush needs some work, but you get the idea. We'll populate this in with all these little flower plantings in here and it makes for this decorative entrance if you will down into this valley all right so then i can drop in yeah maybe some florida palms just a couple of those as well uh just kind of dot those in there along the way and so that as you make your way into this this plantation you've got this floral kind of divided road divided gravel road again nothing fancy but it's just a decorative element that's in this space. Now, before we get too far into this, I wanna come down into this space here and I wanna put in kind of a, a central building, if you will. And I thought the best way to do that was to grab a, uh, let's just take a gravel road here, come out from the centerpiece here and just draw this straight out. Yeah, 40 meters is fine. And then I wanna come out, oh, uh, let's do it 48 meters in this direction. And I wanna bend these two roads into meet with that one. So let's just do a simple curve. And then from there, I want to put in a, let's see, specialized industry forestry building. If I put that forestry building in, let's just say right into this corner, then I can start drawing in um, just kind of a, a forestry area. And it's hard to see, but I'm sitting in this little bowl here. So I'd like to have that forestry industry come out here, follow along this road. So I just want to follow along this road just a little bit. And I want it to kind of curve and follow the shape of the inside of this bowl a little bit. Yeah, bring it back to the farm. And now I've got the opportunity to snake a few kind of veins, if you will, up the hill. So sit tight while I do that. I just want to do a couple of these veins making their way up the hill. There, and now you can see I've got a couple of little brown kind of veins running in through here. And those can act as maybe they're little water you know, runoff uh, channels and so forth coming off that hill. All right, now we should connect up with our, our energy and our backup and, and like our sewer and water. Let's do that. Yeah, there we go. Now we're all connected up. So with all of that in place, now we can come back in with our gravel roads and start framing up really what the, um, you know, the, like the coffee gardens should look like up on this ridge. I think what I'll do is I'll come out of here, just maybe cut across. And then I want to turn off, actually, I'll probably turn off all of my snapping just to freeform this. We're going to come out here with a continuous curve. And let's make something that kind of comes up and works its way kind of along this little, this little ridge line here there and now we can come back in way behind it up on this top of this hill and i want to just create a road that snakes its way up this hill and then follows all the way down along this ridge line here and maybe makes its way all the way around whoops can't can't get in there all the way around this upper ridge yeah something like that and then i can come back in maybe put a road following down along in here And now you can see what's starting to develop here is kind of an interesting little pattern, isn't it? So we've got all of these little tiny little shelves or whatever that are sitting in here where we can put in a variety of different styles of plants and, and beans so that it gives this kind of quilt patchwork look of uh, plantings up in here. All right, so I'm gonna continue to build out this road network.
there. That gives us a really good framework to build out all of our different different styles of, of trees and plants in this space. And uh, I really like the way that this is shaping up. Now, before I get too much further, I want to come up under the top of this ridge and do something a little different, a little unique. Maybe just bear with me on this. Humor me. I want to see if I can put in a little coffee estate, like sitting up on top of this, um, you know, on top of this hill here. Maybe a little plantation of some sort. So the thought would be I would put in some sort of a curved retaining wall. Maybe it just follows right along here. Let's see what that looks like. Well, that seems pretty flat. Yeah, okay. And then let's just flatten out the space in here. We'll see if I've left myself enough room to put in just a little road in here. Like so. And then a, let's go to European style, low density waterfront and do a three by five, one, two, three by five. Yeah, something like that. And just see what kind of a, a building that we get in that space. But the idea would be that would this would be kind of the, um, maybe it's the, the plantation estate that sits up on this ridge and kind of overlooks the, uh, the plantation, if you will. It's got a nice little retaining wall there. We can smooth that out a little bit. Yeah. And then we'll take some of these trees out of the way. Five, so they have a nice view, if you will, of the uh, of the whole plantation basin there. Now, of course, we've got to connect that up with a road. There we go. And now we've got connected power and electricity and sewage and water and all that good stuff. Okay, cool. That'll sit up there on that ridge. And I can tidy this up. Uh, yeah, just come back in here and, and clean that up as well. And then let's do something with the endy pieces down here. Let's go. Yeah, so that kind of completes that area out here. Well, we've got this one straggler road here. Let's let's get that cleaned up too. There you go. All right, now we're looking good. And then another thing I want to do, let's come back in here. I threw down these little buildings as you saw earlier here. I think I'll cut that off and get rid of those. Um, I think what I'd like to do is have those come in. Let's grab a um, two or just a gravel road here. That's fine. Snap out from this. Yeah, like that. And then I'll come out with a North American style commercial building four by three. Yeah. And then I want to come in with a couple little tiny two by two industrials. One, two, one, two. And what the thought is, is that if I get a nice North American shop that comes in here that look, doesn't look too gaudy, that could be kind of like the a place where you'd come and do like coffee tastings and you could buy some locally grown merchandise right here on site. And then these are going to be little, hopefully a little some warehouses and some silos that grow into this space here just to kind of flesh out the little, you know, the, the working area of the plantation. Now, in a similar vein, what I'd like to do is just dot in some industry buildings here and there. A little two by two industrial buildings and um, I'll just pick some random spots here. Maybe up on this ridge here would be a good two by two spot. Maybe one there's up along in here. And the idea would be just to have a few little processing buildings and collection buildings here and there kind of scattered throughout the plantation. Let's see what's a good spot here. Maybe this spot right down in this. Ooh, maybe this corner right here. That's a good one. And uh, maybe right here. Um, yeah, and how about right up along there? And then let's make our way up to this ridge, find a couple more. Yeah, something like that. So you can see them just kind of dotted all throughout the build here. Just they'll start to fill in. And hopefully what we'll get is some, you know, kind of warehouse storage looking. If we get stuff with smokestacks, I'll, I'll knock that out of there. Um, but yeah, all in all, that, uh, that puts us in the right direction. Okay, now it's time to start planting coffee. Now you've got a whole bunch of sections down in this space. In fact, there are 20 of them. And I took some time and I numbered each one of those sections, one through 20. And each of those sections is gonna get their own unique uh, plant type, if you will, to give this some variety and different texture. Now, there's a couple things to keep in mind. One, if we were to come through and plant all of the plants right now, as those plants mature, grow and die, then at some point this entire area would be just filled with dead plants and it would look like the blight had come through. And we wanna try and avoid that if we can. So I took those 20 different sections and I divided them into, I think it's five different groups. 
and each of those groups is going to get planted together at the same time. Now you see down here at the bottom, we are currently in summer and it's January of 2042. So I'm gonna be spending January and February planting out five of these individual sections with a, a plant type that's unique to that section. And then when autumn comes rolling along, that'll be March. So during March, April, and May, I'll be planting out five different sections. And then when winter comes along, I'll pick five different sections. And then when spring comes along, I'll pick five different sections. So the planting of this in game time would take about a whole year, just so that we have enough variation uh, so that the entire area doesn't look, um, you know, doesn't look dead at some point. And then also that'll give us a great patchwork of colors and, uh, and textures. So first things first, I'm not going to take you through all of that because it's literally going to take me in game hours to, to plant all these, but I want to show you the first one. This is section one that you see right down here. And section one is going to get wild bush zero one. So if I go into our landscaping tools, pick wild bush zero one and come in here, I'm going to zoom in nice and tight here. And I can start dropping these in one, two, three. And you get the idea. So we're going to plant those all the way down along here and create a nice, beautiful uh, section filled with wild bush 01. And then I'm going to hopscotch over to section five, which is this section up top here. And up in here, we're going to use this one. This is cultivated green bush 01. It's a much smaller one and it's in a brighter green. So we'll just come through here and put in a few of those. So you can see what those are going to look like a little smaller a little brighter green and then we'll jump over to section nine which is up on this ridge here it's this long narrow piece that runs right down into here kind of comes down into this end down here and i'm this this one i'm going to use cultivated green bush 03. so i'll just come in here and go you know just kind of start filling this out and you can see that this is more of a medium-sized bush and it's a darker richer green look to it so this section when it fills out should be a nice thick rich green uh look about it so we'll do that. Now, section 13 is our next section, and that's down in here, and it also uses the same one. It's this dark green, cultivated green bush, uh, cultivated green bush 03. So we'll just come in here and plant this off. And then our last section that I want to demonstrate to you is going to be using wild, grish, wild green bush 02, and it's the one, uh, let's see here, it's this long, thin one here. So we'll start up right along this road, and we'll drop them in. And you get the idea, but it's a much larger planting compared to the ones that are down here and the ones that are way up over there, little small ones. And so what's going to happen as we do this, as we build this out, uh, we're going to get this, this variety, this tapestry, if you will, of different uh, colors and textures all throughout this area to kind of replicate what I saw in some of the real world coffee plantations. Now I can hear you guys screaming already, sculptor, install the line tool. <laughs> well, no, I'm not going to do it. Uh, we're doing this Argo organically. This is a vanilla build and we're just going to keep doing it. So this is literally going to take me in game hours to do. So I'm not going to make you guys sit through and, and, and be tortured as I build this out. But rest assured, we're going to build a beautiful organic design. Well, all right, this feels like a good place for us to jump in and do a time lapse. Now, it's not going to be our traditional time lapse, that's for sure, because we're going to be spending a lot of time building out each one of these individual sections here and doing all of our plantings. And it's going to take us over the course of an entire in-game year. So uh, the things we want to touch on in the beautification is this center section here with all of these plants and flowers in here. I want to really make that uh, make that stand out and pop. We add a lot of color into that. And then down in this little area where we've kind of got our headquarters, I'd like to fill this in with some trees again. Let's let's come back in here and put in, put in some real trees back in here just to set it aside from the uh, you know from the rest of the plantation. Uh, you've got I thought this was kind of cute. Caffeine. It sounds like caffeine and it's got a power button. I'd like that. I like that. Power up. And then let's jump up to this villa up here. Uh, this we want to really spruce up here and add some beautiful gardens up here on this top and whatnot, just to really make it stand aside. It should be a it should be a nice um, eye catching piece up on this hill. And hopefully the building will level up somewhat as we progress throughout the uh, rest of the months of the year. And uh, hopefully it'll be level five by the time we get there. I don't know. We'll see. All right. Why don't you guys sit back, relax, enjoy the time lapse, and we'll catch you here afterwards and recap our sculpture.
I welcome back and I give you the Gran Arabica coffee plantation. Yeah, that was the subject of today's build and I'm gonna call it right here, right now. The entire thing is our top five design element. <laughs> it would be just too hard to pick and choose one out of all of this because this is such a unique build. I mean, I've never really attempted anything on this kind of scape and magnitude and, and I just love the way it turned out. We deployed so many different ways of, of building and sculpting away into this hillside and I can't wait to take, give you guys a little tour. All right, let's jump right on in. Now, as you recall, we started down here with our double gravel road, which was kind of a neat little approach coming in. We've got all these palm trees and, and flowers that make their way down this double gravel road. You can see it just kind of is this beautiful, elegant approach as you make your way down into the central part of the basin. Now, as you get down in the central part of the basin, We've got our processing buildings down here. You've got our roasting buildings. You've got a little retail shop if you want to buy the freshly roasted coffee. And of course, this is our harvesting building, which I used. I repurposed a lumbus, lumber building, I'm sorry, lumber industry building in this space to really bring some life to this. And, and during, the, uh, during the time lapse, I had a couple of machines that were coming up here and harvesting some of the trees up and along these little channels that I, that I made throughout up this little ridge here. So at least you get a little activity coming and going up in here. Now, as I zoom back out, we've got a whole variety of different styles and, and, and plantings here. Check out this. Look at how beautiful this green is. It's just so lush and vibrant. And I've got all these little these palm trees dotted throughout. And I got it framed up with those little Florida palms. And then as I jump down over here, maybe these are newer plantings. Look at this beautiful jewelry type looking design with some gardens in behind it. And those are all young, small budding you know, coffee trees and coffee plants. And then back here, we've got some wild bushes that really come into play and make them look like they're maybe some of the plantings that are kind of in a semi-mature stage. So a little bit more, a uh, little bit more mature. And then as you wait, make your way back up over to this area, you've got these big, large wild shrubs back here. And these are the fully matured coffee plants that are up on this ridge here. And uh, those would result in a bountiful harvest. Now, making our way down around this side here, you can see, again, kind of the smaller little plants that are kind of coming in here. And then we've got those nestled in quite tightly. And then I've got a nice little decorative garden there. And then we continue along out to the kind of the main entrance, if you will, or the, the first thing that you see as you're driving by the plantation. You've got some really tightly packed in kind of medium size, uh, you know, shrubs and bushes down in here. And then you get these larger ones that are in this big curved space here, really taking advantage of the topography. You know, as I get down a little closer here, you can see that these things follow the top the uh, you know the contour lines really well and then i just built this little just slightly curved uh pattern down in this space here with little processing buildings and collection buildings all da dotted throughout this the whole build now making our way down along i want to call your attention to this one here this is another one where i really paid close attention to the contour lines here and, and just curved these along dropped in some palm trees had this little water you know I guess overflow if you will that that resulted in some beautiful colorful plantings that sprouted up in that space there and then it just everything just kind of followed along these contour lines along this this little ridge here now continuing along on our journey I dropped in our little uh, underground water pumping station and because we had this big huge underground water supply so I thought that looked really cool up in that space just up on that ridge overlooking the the main road and you can see the freeway down below but it was a really great location uh, for that. And uh, I raised it up and put in this retaining wall there. And maybe it's a great collection point for this whole you know, northern side, if you will, of the plantation. As you look into this space here, you've got sections one, two, three, that I tried to continue these pattern lines working all the way down through them just to make it almost seem like it's one continuous area and those are all the largest wild bushes that we used and so those would be some of the more mature uh, crops that are down in this space here and then down in this area you've got some of your young you know maybe sproutlings or whatever brand new plantings that have gone in over the last couple of years with a nice bright vibrant pop of uh, of light green in that space there we dotted in a few more collection buildings down along the way and then really tried to work with the contour lines up on this ridge as well just to accentuate that with this planting in here now lest i forget we remember we've got our little manor that sits up here yeah didn't that turn out great we've got a nice retaining wall there with a, a floral garden and this manor has upgraded along the way i think it's about a level four building right now so it's really starting to take shape on that hill and check this out if you come down in here and check out these views 
Oh, looking down into the basin down there. Wow, what a spectacular view. I mean, that's just wonderful. Oh boy, I think I'd like to live there. And then of course, you've got downtown Pangasas Bay off in the background there. You've got our trauma center. And then, oh, you can even check out the planes taking off and landing from the international airport. So quite the spectacular view from up in this space here. All right, well, that's going to do it for today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed making it. This one was a blast. And I think I'm probably going to need carpal tunnel uh, surgery after all of this is said and done. But I sure do love the way that this thing turned out. Now, just as a reminder, we are a growing channel thanks to your support. And if you saw something that you liked today, make sure to leave us a comment below. Love hearing from you. And while you're at it, be sure to chip away at that like button and hammer that subscribe button to stay up to date on all the latest here in Pangasas Bay and our Grand Vanillica series as well. All right, well, that's going to wrap things up for today. And until next time, good morning, good day, good afternoon, and good evening, and good night.